Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Truck Apocalypse. Uh, last we left off, we were in this uh, land of the dead or city of the dead or I don't know. There's dead is a very popular term in this game, but it, it, it's an old nuclear power plant, I think. But anyway, we got to find uh, the two items, artifacts for the for the Oracle. And uh, as you can see, I just want to show off that even if you're tracking the quests. It doesn't show you on the map, just in case you were wondering. You gotta just run around and find it, but it's, it's not too hard to figure out. There's not a whole lot of different places you can get to. Yeah, you, so you just you, you run around aimlessly long enough, you'll find it. Just If you don't find the first artifact before doing something, going through a pipe, then you end up... Then after you get the second artifact, then you gotta get out and then get back in. Definitely find the first artifact before you go through the pipe. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm just looking at all the sites here. It's interesting. There's a big crane over there. Oh, another monster. That's a really big one. I think it's not active. Basically, look around for little nooks and cranes and crap. And see there's a little pipe you can go through and stuff like that. I don't think it's quite that varied. This is the RC car section of the game. Right there, uh, you can see there's a little ramp leading up to a pipe up there. Don't go in there until you've found the, the artifact in this section. Because you can't get back through the pipe once you get out. Then you'd have to go out and then come back in. That's just a pain in the ass. Okay, there's nothing here. Yeah. Ouch. Don't, don't drive into a wall head on like that. It's not, not a good idea. Oh, come on. This little thing is a pain in the ass to drive, as you might expect. It's not too bad. It's just a lot different after you're driving a normal big truck. Okay, there's nothing there. Ouch. You can destroy this car, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I haven't actually destroyed it, but I'm sure you can. So be careful with that. I might be going around in circles, so I apologize, but it's kind of what I do in this game a lot of times. Let's see, I see an old crate. No, that's not a crate, that's a... Alright, that's like a hangar or something. You know what? Are both of them after you go through the pipe? I keep saying make sure you get the first one before you go through the pipe, but... I'm starting to think they might be after the, both after the pipe. Uh, maybe they are, because unless I'm missing something pretty obvious, I think I've gone through this area pretty good. I think if you mess around enough, also if you hit O by the walls, it might teleport you somewhere by the big outside wall. Like I got teleported out of like out of this whole place but around the edges or something where I didn't belong. But I ended up I was able to run around drive around on top of like the big wall that goes around out the outside of this whole place. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. It was cool but <laughs> pointless. Uh, well, I can't of course I went into the this video thinking, okay, I should do this uh, off camera first to make sure I remember where things are. Uh, I'll remember I did this, you know, a week or so ago. And I think they're both through the pipe. You know, after saying, oh yeah, don't go, don't go through the pipe to get your first piece. I think they might both be through the pipe. There's not much here. I've scanned it pretty good. Let's go through 
should have played. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but it looks like they're both through the pipe. I, I think I'm just always worried that I'm going to go through the pipe before I should, but in reality, that's not really a problem, apparently. We'll see. come out the pipe, basically you make your way past the blockage that was back there. You can see there's a ramp there. That's the way out, because you can't go back through the pipe. And the other end of that blockage was that uh, tunnel maze that we went through. Okay. Stop doing that. Alright, we have a couple of uh, like hangers for the railroad cars, which is interesting. But, um, we're gonna go in this one, because it's funner. That's a word. I do believe I need to go here, though. There's very convenient gaps between the railroad cars. Here and there. Okay. You just gotta pretend you're on foot walking. So, you know, we can't, we can't do that. We gotta be in a car at all times. We gotta be in a truck. We can't walk on foot. It's so dangerous here, it's the lair of those steel monsters, you know, they're gonna just get us. There's a couple different ways to get to this spot that I'm getting to right now. This way is cooler. Okay, yeah, I recognize this spot. Right there. That's one of the things. What is this shiny? Looks like one of the artifacts the Oracle was talking about. Well done. Now to the second one. I'm pretty sure whichever one you find first, he says now to the second one. So it's not like it's not like it's trying to give you a hint of if you found the first one or the second one first. What is this shining? That must be it. Yes, quest items always shine. Silly. That's how it works. Now we can't go back up that ramp that we jumped down. So the only way out is over here. And you could could, could have just come in this way and it would have been easier, but the other way was cooler. section I just completed. Good job. Yeah, this is not good. I might not be able to get out of here. Yeah, I screwed myself over. That's all there is here. I knew it. Yeah, see, you can't get back up to that fight. Oh well. A little failure is good for the soul, I suppose. I, I don't want to drive really fast over that jump because you just hit the ceiling there. And if you go slow, then you spin around and go down sideways and grab it. Okay, back through here. Totally meant to do that so that I could show off. Show off what you need to do if you screw up like this. That, that's my story. That's the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I realized it. I realized it and then I kept on going. You'd think I'd have this memorized by now, considering that I've done it a few times.
<laughs> Next one down. <laughs> I was so sure. Water, but it's okay, and then hit this way, yes. That's the hidden track. There we go. There we're at. I'm gonna be so mad when I figure out where this one was, and I probably ran past it three times. Ran, I should say, drove. Can't run. Already covered that, can't be on foot. Still monsters. I have a feeling I keep going to little uh, ridiculous little spots looking for it, and it's really like in a more open spot. That makes any sense. Shenanigans. Uh, uh, it's not inside a pipe, it's not that hidden. Second section, all there is is the, are those hoppers that, that leads to that second, that first one, I guess, that we found. Right? It does seem like there's a lot more to this place, like way over there. I think that's where I got when I hit O and went through it. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. It's hiding. I just saw it. This pipe. See, I kept driving through this pipe. Right there. What is this shiny? Looks like one of the artifacts the Oracle was talking about. I've got all I need. The Oracle will be pleased. Hey, happy music. Okay, so yes, what I said in the very beginning was true. Get the first one first. In the first section. Oh, well, wasn't that hard to go back through? Factory of the Dead long enough. So, summer's only. Bad. Now let's go all out on this jump this time. We. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you go all out. It's not much faster. Blow this joint. Well, we are doing 108 miles now. That's considering my truck does like what 160. It's it's not that much. It's not that fast. It's just it's not super fast. It's super quick. Line up on the rails and ride the rails. Alright, hopefully no shenanigans will happen here when I try to switch back to my truck. I haven't had anything bad happen with that yet. But you never know. It's the first time for anything. This this game is a little glitchy here and there. The roof is on fire. Oh no, we're not getting a fight. I don't have a gun. Alright. back out please. Um, parking my truck there uh, repainted it. 
wasn't it all the same color before, like a camouflage color. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was though. Also, that car's engine is a lot louder than my truck engine. That's interesting. Alright. Let's go back to the Oracle. The problem with repairing is wherever you go to repair, it's a long drive back and forth and you end up just getting hurt getting back. Uh, was it my truck full? Yes, I'll, I'll go up to that village and sell off some of that stuff to repair. Probably shouldn't be hitting that stuff, that doesn't help anything. Is this truck... Oh, okay. I don't have a fuel tank yet. That's, I'm starting to feel that, like the fuel is at half. It's showtime. Okay. So I want right, right, left. Rumble. Oh. Don't get me. I got two parts of health left. I'm turbo boosting and getting the hell out of out of dodge there. Yeah, gotta get up to town. get that big Belaz truck just for the cargo space, then I can really haul stuff around to the right places for the money. Let's try for road. Nice turbo boost. Turbo boost while you're still out of control. There we go. Nice. Project will finally take off. Oh, you have a project. Uh, God's blessing. Oh boy. Listen to your story. <laughs> My father was killed. I want to find the murderers and punish him. Yep, one track mark. Well, at least, yes, he should be keeping with that idea. 
problems with morals do not kind of concern me, but I promise to help you, blah, blah, blah. I need information. Tell me. My house was attacked by some people from the east because we totally believe uh, Alice completely from the other side of the Death Desert. I find them. Otherwise known as Desert of Death. I've got to find them, but no one knows how to survive in that eerie place yet. A man of flesh will not survive there long. What's in your hands? It's a disc that belonged to my father. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, the disc. They say you can read it. I haven't seen anything that kind for a long time. Yeah, disc. I call anybody coming in. However, in the beginning there was something. Yes, it's called a computer. The artifacts you brought will help, it might work out, but you've got to help me remember. Oh, jeez. Just tell me what I need to do. Concentrate the energy of the spears so the celestial light what? Save me your riddles for, save your riddles for the locals. Just tell me what I need to do. <laughs> Straight to the point. Take three of my little helpers to the three men here. Here, here, and here. Because he's pointing at the map. They will configure my remote memory modules, so, okay. Make sure the savages who worship me don't interfere. Okay. Yeah, you, you guys do kind of look alike. Uh, Alright, I have hope now. We're leaving. Alright, so basically, you know that one tower that we saw that looks like that but not lit up? There's three of them, and we have to light them up, and I just fell in a hole for no reason. That was, that was beautiful. Get up, get back up there. Yeah. Turn. Drive up the hill. Yeah. Let's see, Balaz would make it up there. So, I'm sorry, I know, you're not an off-road truck and I'm going off-road. How did you get repainted? starting to bug me. Pretty sure it got repainted. But there's a little hut back here. Didn't we? There was a town and I didn't even know it. I don't think so. so. No. I know I've wandered around here before. Okay. Take two. There we go. Let's try for the road. <laughs> Yay. Get repainted, right? Uh, live long. Live long. And then sometimes they also say prosper. So put the two and two together and you'll get what the reference is there. Power slide. Okay, let's see. I suppose I should show you where these things are. I got a pretty good idea of where they are. Um, First repair. Oh, there's one up there. That's right. Well, we can get that one last. Because then there's one up here and there's one, I think, there. Yeah. So we'll get this one, then this one, then that one. Go around on the loop. second right into that loop that goes up to the village. I like that it's nice and clear for a change. You're gonna die! Uh, I don't care. Yeah, there's a there's one. The last one is ready to work. <laughs> I hope it will help the Oracle to regain his memories. That was the first one, but whatever. Look at that. By the way, he's, I'm, I'm saddened that they don't show this in the cutscene. I guess they're starting to cut corners, but... Um, he's sending out little repairers to fix these things. And if I go to... Uh, Encyclopedia quest items, I think. Yes. 
Helper, repair, and tunnel. Tunner. Tuner. Sorry. Tuner, repair, helper. It's, uh, pretty sure everyone knows what this is. It's, it's R2-D2. Of course, the way that the top is red and rusty looking, maybe more R4. R4, right? I don't remember my Star Wars name. There was a reddish looking one that I remember. I think it was from one of the uh, newer movies from the past, if that made any sense. Anyway, I thought that was a cool little reference. Well, it's pretty blatant, but you gotta look it up in the encyclopedia. They don't show it in the cutscenes, which is just annoying. Oh, there's another, like, old hotel or something there. The second repairer got down to work. Time to deliver the last one. I guess I'm kind of doing this in backwards or in order. By the way, it doesn't matter what order you do these in. You just kind of get all three lit up. I was really surprised the first time I was playing through this game and took that tunnel and all of a sudden I was in a jungle. I was like, wow, it's pretty much the last thing I expected. It's nice, everything's not just blank, apocalyptic desert type wasteland. I'm sure we'll be getting back to that pretty soon. It's showtime. It's gonna be this way. First repairer is in place. What a nimble fellow. Yeah, but you don't show it. Uh, it's all lit up. So now we got all three lit up. Get back to the Oracle. Maybe now we can read the disc. Okay, I'm full up again. Great. But we're, I think we're almost Prosper. done. Prosper. Modules, blah blah blah. Have a check, take a while, but 
there anything you can tell me for sure? After all those tasks, yeah. Judging by the contents, this contains a scheme of device that allows you to cross the radioactive desert. Oh, good. Among other things. Great, go on. The disc also contains a lot of information about a man called Ivan Go. That's good. Turns out we were right about my deceased father. He was closely, he was closely connected with that man. Oh, okay. However, the information is protected by a complex cipher. Unless you've got the key, deciphering may take a few years, which is unacceptable. Yeah, it is. What's the key? Judging by the cipher and the password length, 96.7% possibility it's another disk. Oh. Oh. I guess we need disk 2, don't we? Where, where do I find it? Ask the curl of Camry. She'll tell you goodbye. Ha 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 ha! Well, he knows more about Alice. Wait up, I haven't finished with, with you. He's gone. It's like I'll have to ask Lisa. Alice! A few questions. Maybe we'll just call her Alicia. That's, you know, combine the two. Uh, uh. Oh, we've got a new entry in the story. So now we gotta go find Alice. She should still be here, right? Uh, well, Sacred Grove. Druid, Druid Island. Land before this. <laughs> land before time, no, it's land after time. Rockford. Apparently this was a this was a desert before all of the apocalyptic stuff and then the water washed over and turned it into a jungle, which uh, I guess kind of makes sense. time we'll get our way down to the next zone and meet up with Alicia and um, we'll see what the next part is where this ne next disc is because uh, she's totally trustworthy she's she's awesome so anyway um, we'll see you then later <laughs>